G'day guys, Spanners Gem 669 I'm going to be doing a video fairly quickly because I've got to go out very soon and I'm not looking forward to it because it's pouring down with rain outside. Before I do, I'm going to do a little update on my horror collection. So I'll divide this into a few parts because I've got quite a big collection. So I'll get straight into it. I've got Slither. This is a really good horror comedy. Good gore in it as well. Kind of a throwback to the more olden day type of horror movie. We've got Feast. This is a really insane kind of fun movie. This one's not really a horror movie, but it's definitely a disturbing movie. It's Deliverance. A really bad rape scene in it. Stephen King's, or Stanley Kubrick's film, but Stephen King's story, The Shining, one of my favourite movies. Jack Nicholson's awesome. One of Peter Jackson's earlier films, Bad Taste. I love this film. It's a really, really low budget, uh, really cheap gore effects, but it's one of those movies that it's so bad that it's so good. I really enjoy this one. I've got a three uh, a three movie collectors pack. Stephen King stories once again, like Christine, Sleepwalkers, and APT Pupil. Now, I preferred APT Pupil more than the other two. I didn't really like Christine. Now, Sleepwalkers was silly, but that was pretty fun. But yeah, APT Pupil was. Uh, the pick of them for me. Next one is another Stephen King um, page to screen collection. Now, as you can tell, I'm a big Stephen King fan. This one is Pet Cemetery. Now, this movie absolutely freaked me out. It still does to this day. I feel like the character of Zelda, who's the main character's sister, or was the main character's sister, she just freaks me out. And those scenes where she's dreaming about her sister, um, yeah, if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. That just completely freaked me out. I remember watching this as a kid and I had nightmares from it, and you know, to this day, it still freaks me out. It's a really good movie. Probably, oh, well, up there with the best. Um, page to screen Stephen King movie um, I don't know who directed this one Mary Lambert yeah she did a really good job with this one yeah, as I said still freaks me out to this day yeah really really good horror movie next one two, two disc special edition of American Werewolf in London oh, this is a good film I think it was a little bit overrated, but you know, I still enjoyed it. Some pretty funny scenes in it. I like the end scene in, in this, um, Piccadilly Circuit, I think. Yeah, I always get that wrong, but anyway, the, the end scene where there's a lot of carnage, it's really good. American Werewolf in Paris. Now this one is not so good. Um, I liked it when I watched it the first time when I was about 12 or 13, but I watched it again and it's pretty silly. I didn't like this one very much. Still some pretty funny scenes in it, but it's not a good movie. I don't recommend this one. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre original. Well, the actual DVD covers a little bit damaged, but oh well. This is the 25th anniversary special edition. And you all know about this one. A lot better than the remake. Although the remake was pretty good, but nothing can beat the original. Toby Hooper. Gunnar Hansen. It's an awesome movie. 
American independent film Dead Girl. A different take on the zombie genre. Disturbing film. It's a good one. Got a movie that surprised me. Orphan. I didn't think this was going to be any good. Just got it because I was bored from the movie. St uh, the um, video store rented it. I was actually surprised by it, and I thought it was worth the purchase. There's actually another movie that I didn't get. I'll get it now. Wherever it is. We've got. The Good Son with Macaulay Culkin and Elia Wood. Now this is very similar to Orphan. I think Orphan was a bit better, but this is still a pretty good movie. The same kind of everyone thinks the child is innocent and sweet, but really underneath very evil. It's a pretty good movie. Rob Zombie's Halloween. I like the start of this one. I thought Going into Michael Myers' childhood was a good idea. It's a pretty good one. We've got Drag Me to Hell, Sam Raimi. I didn't really like this one the first time I saw it, but I saw it again and it grew on me, so I like it now. Some really freaky scenes in it. Sam Raimi is pretty good at creating some like, freaky atmosphere and all that kind of stuff. And then the last one in this for this video is The Evil Dead. This is the ultimate edition. We all know about this one. It's a classic. Really enjoyed it. Good gore effects for, for its time in 1982. Yeah. Really good. Alright guys, that's it for this first um, DVD collection. I'll make one a bit later. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.